In this video, I'm going to teach you how to revive an old car battery or recondition your existing one. Because the last thing you want to do is be stranded in the middle of the night, your car not starting. Anytime you have your car starting to start slow or usually in major weather changes, whether it, it's very hot or it's very cold, that's when these batteries fail, especially when they're on the edge. I will show you step by step in this video how to revive dead batteries and how to recover used batteries that's starting to go out. By the end of this video, I guarantee that most of these batteries are going to work. We're just going to need a multimeter, just any distilled water and a regular battery. By the time I'm done with this video, most battery companies are going to hate me because I'm gonna teach you how to revive most batteries. Baba, can Hello everyone, this is Yasser from Baba the Builder. Today we're gonna show you how to revive old batteries. I'm gonna try it on these. So if any day your battery, you go out in the morning and your car doesn't wanna start or is starting to start very slow, I think it's time to recharge your battery at home and I can show you how. You can actually service most of these batteries. My buddy Mike gave me these batteries for free and they've been sitting for a long time in his backyard. So I want to try to maybe revive these batteries and maybe you can go and do the same to your car's battery. And first of all, uh, always safety, protect your hands, wear regular clothes or work clothes. And we always want to check, visually check the batteries. For example, this battery here, we will never be able to revive it because it's been hit right here. You can tell it's dented and over here it's cracked. So this battery automatically, it's a core and you can send it to your local battery store or a recycler. A lot of people take these as cores or the recyclers and you can get rid of it, dispose of it. Don't throw it in the garbage, don't put it on the street because you have to take it to these places. So let's test these batteries and see how many volts they have. So you put your multimeter on volts right here. And you can just, let me put it right here. For example, this one has got 11.3. This is actually pretty good. This one here has got 4.6, this is gonna be a challenge. And then this one has got 6.7. This one is a deep cycle, so it's probably gonna be a strong one. So what we usually first do, we are just gonna need to clean them up first. Um, any degreaser or cleaner will work. Um, you wanna really work with a clean battery. You don't want this debris to go inside because we're gonna be opening these batteries up and taking a look inside. So you just kinda spray them like this, clean them up and find some good gloves to wear because battery acid is not friendly with clothes or with your skin, it's no good. And if you do have eye protection, I suggest you do wear them. So right now they're pretty they're pretty cool. So you want to be always careful when you're dealing with batteries. You always want to respect batteries. So right now we're just cleaning them like this. And then you want to clean the, the battery terminals. You can always get one of these. Any part store or this one is broken. Any part store or any Walmart. This one has got, this is for the battery terminal on the car. And this is here for these terminals. And also you can get one of these. I like these, these are pretty cool. I just got this, I think it's from Amazon. <laughs> Since I'm doing three of them, I'm going the easy way.
clean all the dust. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna open up these service ports. We're gonna take a look inside to see if there's any water missing out of these. And that's where you put your eye protection. So right here, most of them are pretty dry. They need to be, they need to be serviced. We need to add water in every single one of these. This one here, This one, only this cell, and this cell is gonna need some water. And then this one, most of them is gonna need it. We add distilled water in these batteries. You don't have to buy battery acid. Some people tell you to put uh, Epsom salt. I don't see it necessary. I've done these before with only distilled water. You can use a turkey baster if you want to fill them up. And all you really wanna do is, you just wanna cover the cell with water. You don't wanna fill it up too much because it'll be whenever it's in the car and it's being charged, actually these, the, this water rises. You just wanna cover up to the top of the cell. Like so. Like I said, I've tried the, the Epsom salt method. It didn't make any big difference. I don't know. Some people claim it works better, some people don't. I seen that it worked the same to me. So, it's very important to keep these cells filled with water. So, if you can do this once a year, take out your battery from your car, clean it up, and recharge it outside the car. You know, maybe on a weekend. It's better to take it out and clean it you get to see what's going on with it, if it's leaking underneath, or maybe it's just time for a new battery. So now I just finished topping off the batteries. So you can just make sure they're all full and all the cells are covered like this. You wipe them down. All the cells are covered. And then we're gonna bring the battery charger. Now, for the batteries that that's almost dead like this, you wanna use a non-smart battery charger. One of these, either cheapy batteries or one of these commercial ones. I love using this one because I do a lot of batteries. I have to have a quality one. And this here is one of the best battery chargers that I've had. The first thing we do is we put the terminals. And then we start the charger. We want to start it and put it on high. First we put it on, on medium. And then we go to high. We want to see which cell is active. So no active cells yet. Because I want to start with the battery that's got the most active cells. So that way for the video it'll be the easiest. And you don't want to breathe this stuff while it's, um, while it's charging. We're going to pretty soon cover this up while it's charging and leave it for like 15 minutes. So, so far I only have one cell. It's the first cell. 
when you start seeing it bubbling like that, that means it's an active cell. When most of them starts to be active, that's when you put the charger on medium or low and you leave it overnight. So let's go to the next one and see if this one have more active cells. I like these gloves, They're, they let your hand breathe from the back and they really have a good grip on them. I get them from Home Depot, I think it's like 10 bucks for a pack of 10, I think. They're good, they're inexpensive, that way whenever you get anything bad on them, you can just throw them away. Instead of buying these expensive gloves and have to always worry about cleaning them. So I chose to use this one for the video because it, this one showed right away that it had an active cell. So what you do is you put it on the battery charger on the high setting and you put it on for 15 minutes. 15 minutes at a time, just in case it had a short or anything, it won't start to melt or smoke or anything. 15 minutes is just fine. And every 15 minutes you come back and check the cells. You check what's going on. If all the cells are going, you keep it going. Once all the cells start to boil, then we take it to the side and we put it to trickle charge overnight. And then we'll see what happens tomorrow. So like you see here, all these cells, it, it didn't take about 15 minutes to wake these up. So all these cells are active. I want to wait for the last one to be the same as the other ones. And then we leave it on for an extra 10 to 15 minutes, just boiling these cells. When they start to bubble like that, you need to right away, you need to cover them. Don't close them, cover them. So the gases don't go up. And just let it sit for another 15 minutes and then Take it to your trickle charger or lower this charger to two amps and then leave it for overnight and then tomorrow we'll check it out. Okay everyone, this is the following day. I have charged these batteries. I had a charger on each one of these batteries so I wanted to see what they did. We get the multimeter and we put it on volts, DC volts. So we can check here and see. Wow, 13 volts. This is almost like a brand new battery. So this method works. Let's check this one. 1223, 1224. So this one I wanna say is about 80%. And this one, this is the deep cycle one. Yeah, this one is probably not going to work. Not everybody's gonna, battery is going to charge. Most of them are. And remember, these batteries were sitting for a long time. So if it was my car battery that was starting up slow, most likely it would have been 100% because the battery was still good. So anytime your battery starts to start slow, take it out of your car and do the same procedure that I did and it's almost guarantee that it's gonna work. Why? Because your battery is probably at 80% or 75% and it's gonna go almost to 100%. These batteries were completely dead and we've seen in the beginning of the video. So let me know in the comments below if you tried this at home and how well did it work for you and make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you.